Step away from the door, sir. But we really want in there. Sorry, sir. I have orders to keep everyone out of the war room. Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. You can't tell the president what to do. Let us into that room. Just following orders, sir. No exceptions. We are most definitely not amused. Until I hear from Chuckles, my superior officer, I'm to guard this door. Your superior officer is riding on the shoulder of a 20-foot-tall Abraham Lincoln statue that's destroying Washington. It's covered in the contingency plan, sir. Why won't you let us into the war room again? Just following orders, sir. I can't let anyone into the room. No exceptions. Max says you can take a vacation. We will make an exception just this once. Thank you, sir, but no can do. I can only take a vacation on federal holidays. We'll be back. Roger that. Apparently, even mechanical puppets have mothers. It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skimpiest, naughtiest swimsuits. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! We now declare today April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for Vice President, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary's Day. Hey, look, Max. It's the Presidential Discretionary Budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Hey, Soups. Max says you can take a vacation. It's Secretary's Day. I'm not a secretary, sir. We'll be back. Roger that. Max, I mean His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country, for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball, Secretary in charge of guarding the war room door. Max, no. Oh, right. Uh, Secretary of Defense, whatever. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Hey, Soups. Secretary Superball, the President would like you to take a memo. Two people of the planet Earth, we know what you've been doing. Cut it out. Hugs, your nuclear arsenal wielding leader, etc., etc. Did you get all that? No pencil, sir. The President would like you to take another memo. Two, the U.S. House of Representatives. An upcoming bill to extend the powers of the President will be presented to you soon. As my way of thanking you for your yes vote, I've placed a small gift underneath your chair. Instructions for disarming this gift will be available as soon as... Are you getting all this, Secretary? I don't take dictation, sir. Secretary Superball, the President would like you to take a memo. I don't take dictation, sir. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. I think the war room door is only openable in time of war. Stupid old peace. What are we doing here, Max? I keep getting whiny memos about the giant robotic Abraham Lincoln who's rampaging through Washington, enslaving the populace. I guess we'd better do something about that. Can't you get us into the war room, Max? I kept hearing about presidential powers, but it's all just boring bureaucratic stuff. I was hoping I'd be able to make things explode with my mind. 
What's the date today, Max? I'm President of the United States, Sam! What date do you want it to be? The soda poppers aren't the close-knit band they used to be. They're just one inappropriate comment away from full-on violence. Just like you and me, pal. I'm glad we took this time to talk, Max. Keep in touch, Sam. I mean that. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Hmm, Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, then sold into a white slavery ring, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano-top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Odd. Max, have you been dieting? No Whee! comment. Hmm, that's weird. It says his age is burnt sienna. That is weird. He doesn't look a day over taupe. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da! Special bargain for you! Still tasty, half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, uh, of course! In preserving heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. What is that? Keep that away from me! Relax, Bosco. It only tells how old you are. Why do you need to know that? Did someone send you to find out how old I am? Sheesh, never mind. That's your problem with dating, Sam. You give up too easily. Need any items for your administration, El Presidente? I have a meeting with the Israeli ambassador this afternoon, Sam. I was thinking of getting some boiled shrimp, pressurized cheese, and pork rinds. Well, it's the thought that counts. I guess we should get back to work. I don't want to know how old that is. This coffee is over a month old. It's slow roasted for premium taste and maximum viscosity. I don't spy on Bosco. We've got an understanding. You understand that? Sir, yes, sir. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy!
Hey, look, Max, it's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the Chief! I don't know how you guys did, but I just got a huge check from the government! You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system! So, we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. What people works? Trust me, trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. Care for some vodka, Bosco? No. I knew he wasn't really a Russian. Truth serum's only useful on people not telling the truth. If you really want to prove you're legit, I challenge you to take a swig of my truth serum. Truth serum? What is truth but the illusion of non-illusion? Uh, so you won't take it? Oh, I don't drink. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! Care for a drink? It's soda, right? You brought more soda. Sure, why not? Wow! That's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Sam and Max. You guys... You guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the stupidest thing he'd ever heard. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little... You big... Of course you realize this means war! 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 <laughs> 